Hello, everybody, and welcome to part three of our Inspire Writing Casual Unchill series with Mont Blanc. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mike Ward. I'm a professional calligrapher and penman based out of Vancouver, Canada. Uh, fill extra spaces, in my opinion, it's going to look the best. Starting off with page number one for today, the last of the letter forms that we're going to work on or that we're going to learn is ligatures. When we get two rounded forms, they end up having, they can create quite a bit of space or they can look far apart or draw the attention of our eye when we're writing. So we're going to do that H and E actually first. We start with our straight down stroke. And we come back up here, we have our circular form. Now, if I don't do the ligature version and I do an E, there's techni technically nothing wrong with that. So we do our straight line down. We do our circular form. So we finish the H just like normal. And then when we do the E, we just have to space it. So if I want, if my E is going to be the width, uh, the span of four of these uh, grid lines, but I want to go over just a little bit, like one millimeter in, so that I cross right over top of that line. So that when I go over here, those lines cross each other. And I get my ligature uh, HE. So you can see that really closes up this space at the bottom and a little bit on the top as well. Now, what I would recommend is that we get in the habit of, uh, right now we're working on a grid sheet, but if you remember in our previous session, we, had, we did some writing on not a grid. We just had a horizontal line. We want to get used to using uh, or not relying on these grid spaces. I want you to start relying on creating the shape of the letter sort of in your mind. So you have this circle here, wherever it goes on our grid, you're sort of imagining where that is. We're gonna go back to the top here. We have our A and E. This is an interesting one. So we're gonna write the standard A. And now when we do an E, if they weren't connected, Now, I did write those a little bit farther apart than I probably should have, but in the A and E, because the A is angled, we get even a bigger space than we do with the two circular forms. So this is one that can be um, it can be a good use of the, uh, of the ligatures. All right, so once again, we will do our A coming down to the bottom corner and then to the left corner and a curve over. And now we're going to visualize that E it's fitting in right here. So we get our E like so. Now, if we go here, we have again two circular forms like the inside of the H and the E. We have our D and the E. So we can write our D first. And again, if you remember, if you took the previous session, depending on how you want to write the D either in two strokes like I just did or one stroke that continues and goes up, totally up to you. And then we're going to combine that with this E, move the E to the left a little bit so they overlap. Like so. This is HY, even though it might very much look like an NU, potentially. Um, so we have our down stroke. We have our rounded form here. And now I have to plan it out. So normally I would start here and it would sit right beside it. I want to go a little bit over to the left so that it overlaps. Like so. Next up, we have an interesting one, or we have two interesting ones. The first is the O and the R. So I'll move this over so you can see 
both three traditional looking variant and then one where we're using, if we're using a monoline nib or pen, we have first our circular form. I'm gonna do this all in one stroke because casual ancho. From there, rather than having the downstroke, like if I just did a standard R that was connected, I would do my downstroke. And then I would have the R coming out of that. Like so, rather than have that downstroke there, because what that can kind of create the image of is, I didn't realize this before, but it almost looks like the sort of Roman variant of a lowercase a, which we don't necessarily want. So we want to, what we can do is do our circular form. And then from there, we just connect the R straight to the O. Like so. And then we can also, same premise, same idea, when we do the B and the R. We have our downstroke. We can do a B. And then I connect the R just right to it. Like so, because again, if we had the B, if I did a straight line there, it would essentially connect through the bottom of the B. So we don't want to have a straight line there. So they can only get so close until we ligature them. So here you can see I've written the, the words, what can we do with line spacing over and over and over um, a few times to give you three different ideas of or three different looks is sort of the final piece idea that, that I want to work towards today. And that is using two different pens. A first line of text. You can see here we have fall in love with the process. And that's just over and over, fall in love with the process, fall in love with the process, over and over and over and over again. Uh, we have there, so this is double spaced, tall letters, fall in love with the process. Between those, I have added, so for the large letters, I'm following, sorry to move my paper around so much. I'm following this idea. I have my fall in love with the process. I made, I left half a space and then I went fall in love with the process, but I want it to look super dense. So in the middle, I wrote just a bit of silliness, really half spaced with a different pen or half sized with a different pen. Now for our piece, I'm going to write, I'm going to change the words a little bit. Instead of writing fall in love with the process, I'm going to write inspire writing since that's the name of this awesome series we're doing here drop my p just a little below the baseline Inspire, and then writing. Get my W, R, I made those a little too close together, but that's okay. Casual Anshul is forgiving. Trying very hard to not make any spelling mistakes because I do that a lot, unfortunately. Inspire writing. So I'm going to go down to the second line, skipping this line here because that's where I'm going to be writing with my smaller pen. We're keeping in mind that as I'm filling this in, I'm going to get these instances where, like this J and P right here, we're going to have crossover. So here we go. Remember to play. There's our first little cross, but that's all right.
And because this is not super strict, I'm not worrying too, too much about my forms being exactly right. I allowed these letters to get a little short by accident. Try to rein that in a little bit. So we'd have something like that going through, remember to play, remember to play in the middle all the way through. And that can create a cool piece. Whether you do the different sizes, that's completely up to you. Your speed, your entire piece could be the same size spaced any of these ways or any other way you potentially want to do. And that's about it. Like I said, any questions, ask me on Instagram. Uh, the last thing I will leave you with is make sure, everybody, that you are Falling in love with the process. This is not supposed to be a stressful thing. This is very fun. This is casual, unchal. I like to call it funchal. Um, so have so, so much fun with it. Fall in love with the process as you're doing it. Before you know it, you're going to be incredible. And you won't even realize you were practicing because you were just doing what you love doing. And uh, don't forget that, in my opinion, life should be just a bit of silliness, really. Have some fun. Thanks a lot, everybody.